MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball brings us to the great state of Florida and Marlins Park in Miami. Tonight we wrap up this brief two-game series between the New York Yankees and the Miami Marlins. It's Marlins Baseball, and it comes your way next. Wei-Yin Chen, the Taiwan native, gets the starting nod. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, you can't always judge a pitcher by the numbers. I know the ERA is into the fours coming into this start, but he's actually a pretty solid pitcher. And every once in a while, he can throw some decent games in there. It's not easy having an ERA under four in baseball. He's slightly over that, but this guy's a better pitcher than that ERA indicates. Into the box now, Aaron Hicks. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. And we kick things off tonight with a swing and a miss for a first pitch strike as we're underway. Guys, this Marlins ball club as they begin play here tonight, fair to say they're not playing their best baseball right now. Losers of five of their last six. Yeah, Matty V. And you know what, d -Row, This is when you really get tested. They, they call it the dog days. Belted high in the air out to left. Yokoyama ranging back at the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. With that, here's a look at the Yankees' starting lineup. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Well, Matt, we all know it. The man to watch, Giancarlo Stanton. He had over 20 runs batted in last month. Very consistent. A solid month, and I love watching him swing the bat. It looks like the focus and concentration is even better when he has runners in scoring position. At the plate, Aaron Judge. Here it comes. That's a High and away on the first pitch fastball there. It's ball one. Can't ask for better conditions. 83 degrees here at first pitch tonight. Oh, look out. Hot shot to third, and there are two away. Got him third. Short shot. Stepping into the box, Didi Gregorius, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Popped him up. Holiday over to his right, and that retires the side. Nothing doing here in the opening half inning. Now the Marlins will see what they can do. No score. Number 61 will be the starter in this one for the Yankees. Dan Fleezak, what do you got? Here's a guy that numbers can be a little bit deceiving. He has a whip in the 1.3 area and above range. It's a little higher than league average. He's been a little bit inconsistent. One good game, one bad game. But don't let that whip fool you. This guy's a much better pitcher than that. And if he brings his A game, he could be awfully tough in this one. Right Here's Cameron Mabin Cameron. now as we run you the numbers to see the splits between July and August. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And that one just missed outside. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they're definitely in a nice stretch as they've won six of their last seven ball games. Yeah, Maddie, this team finds itself with a huge lead, double digits right now, and climbing, playing really good baseball. Some people will say, oh, you don't want to have that big a lead. You start resting on your laurels. I, I, I look at it the other way, man. You've earned the right to kind of get some guys off their feet if the manager wants. There's a lot of different ways you can go about it. This team's focused and playing really good baseball. I would not worry about it. Keep pushing the throttle. I don't think he's going to triple up on changeup right there. He seemed to have gotten a timing down on that second one. Nope. That misses, and we're even at two and two. A great case of a manager sticking up for his pitcher right there and giving that umpire an earful. He didn't get that pitch called the way he wanted it to, but the manager is planting a seed in that umpire's mind to try to expand the strike zone so some of those borderline pitches start to go his pitcher's way. The 3-2 pitch. 
swing, high drive, left field and deep. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. All right, that's when you got to tell yourself to slow down a little bit right there. Out in front on a fastball, hit it hard, but pulled it foul. And he takes ball four, so the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. Coming to the plate now, Miguel Rojas comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Took a wave at one around the shins with no luck. Good job of making him chase that pitch down below the strike zone. That's where you want to pitch when you're looking for the double play ball. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. Here's the 0 and 2. Swing and a little blooper to center. In there, the base hit. Definitely tried to elevate the heater right there with two strikes, but caught way too much of the plate. Nice execution by the hitter. Martin Prado now as he'll take a look at a strike on the outside corner. It's 0 and 1. A one pitch on its way. On its Taylor made to short. Six, four, three, and they turn the double play. Time now for a glance at the Marlins lineup card in this one. Mark DeRosa, what's the key in avoiding the sweep? This team does it a little bit different, Matty. They're not going to drive the ball out of the ballpark. They are dead last in home runs. Usually a bad sign. But they can score in a variety of different ways. They got guys with great approaches, and they try and move and manufacture runs as well as they can. Be on the lookout for the little things today. Now to the plate, Starlin Castro. Trying to cash in here in his first at bat with a runner at third and two gone. Hit hard up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And the run will score as the Marlins have claimed the early 1-0 advantage. Hey, that's a big RBI single right there, d -Row. They lost the first game of this series. And they certainly don't want to fall behind and may potentially lose the first two games of this set. Without question, Dan. Offensively, you're just trying to grind it out. Give your team a chance. Give the pitcher a chance to relax a little bit. Even the series up, hopefully, and fight it out tomorrow. And that'll bring in the multi-dimensional Lewis Brinson. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. The three of us return with more Wednesday night baseball after this. Striding forward now, the Yankee cleanup hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. Watches fully in effect these days as he's potentially closing in on a historic triple crown. He leads all three categories. First offering on its way. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. So let's take a look at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Joe McDonald. You know, you got to take your time and feel Joe McDonald out behind the dish a little bit. He has a tendency to move his zone around, usually set, settling in in those middle innings. You know, all you ask for an umpire is to be consistent. At times, Joe Mack is a little bit too inconsistent, particularly from a pitcher standpoint. 2-0 to the Yankees left fielder. Outside, 3 and 0 now. I understand pitching carefully to this guy in the box, but the man on deck doesn't represent any relief either. He's going to have to go after one of these guys. Zero. 3 and 1. The 
3-1. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. And don't forget, he lost his last time out, so he wants to get off on the right foot here. The last thing he wanted was to walk the leadoff man. Next for New York, Gary Sanchez. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. Yeah, guys, the key to hitting in the big leagues is to hit off the heater, and this guy is obviously sitting something else. Stanton aboard here at first with nobody out. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. The 1-1 one, one. takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. The 1-2 one, freezes him. A strikeout looking. All right, here's the defensive alignment for the Miami Marlins. Hey, let's focus on Cameron Mabin in the outfield. One of the more dynamic outfielders in our sport. He's able to cover a ton of ground, gap to gap. I almost feel like he's playing left center to right center. He's not playing center field. He's got it all covered, bailing the other guys out, and not shabby with the offensive tool either. Settling in now, Brendan Drury. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Set and the pitch. Missed with a slider. Runners on first with one down. Mine toward the alley in left center. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. Stanton rounds the corner and is headed home. But no, he'll put on the brakes and head back to third. Wow, throw a tent over and bring out the clown. Looked like a three-ring circus out there. One outfielder mistimes his jump and the ball gets past him. His buddy has to back him up and get the ball in. A good thing, too. Otherwise, it could have been a triple or even an inside the parker. Stepping in, Jesus Aguilar. And as you can tell easily from the splits, he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. First pitch of the at bat. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. And a pitch up and in, keeping him honest. One and one. Runners are at second and third with one down. Liner toward right center. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And not in time as the run scores. Well, that wasn't your standard sack fly hit. It was hit pretty low and hard, so it wasn't a given they were going to send it. But they did, and they add a number to the run column. So coming to the plate, Jose Reyes. Runner in scoring position with Sujan. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. No balls and a strike to count. Two outs here with a runner at third.
A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Looking up as Brinson. Gone! A two-run home run for Jose Reyes. Fourth home run for him on the season, and it gives the Yankees a 3-1 to one lead. You think it's easy to be a pitcher at this level? Well, when the number eight hitter takes you deep, you know there's no such thing as an easy out. Standing in now, number 61. Number 61. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Now the 1 0. High pop up. Holiday over to his left. And that's the third out. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two run home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's now three to one, Yanks. Stepping into the box, Robert Yokoyama. And as you check out his righty lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Now a ball lined to the left side. But foul. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Judge has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first down. All right, boys, let's take a look at how the Yankees are setting up on defense today. You guys, one thing I want you to focus on today when you look at this team on the defensive side of the ball, they're in the top five in fielding percentage. They go about their business a certain way. They make all the routine plays, mix in a few flashy ones, and day after day, they give their pitchers the best chance to be successful. So digging in now, Richie Pollock. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Strike one to start the at-bat. One out, nobody on. Grounded up the first baseline. Aguilar scoops it up, and he'll step on first himself for the out. Batting eight, catcher, Ryan Holiday. Stepping up now, Ryan Holiday. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. First offering on its way. A ball and no strikes. A fastball that just misses inside. Well, that two-seam fastball ran a little too much off the plate, but now that sets him up to work with something away and maybe even an off-speed pitch. Now the 2-0 home. 3-0 and oh now. Well, he knows it, but this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with the bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. That walk is going to feel a little extra frustrating for this pitcher. Not only do you never really want to walk the number eight hitter, but it's also going to let the pitcher hit this inning instead of forcing him to lead off the next one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a fastball just below the knees. Ball one. A fastball down near the shoe tops. Can't allow yourself to lose focus right here with the pitcher up. Got to stay on the attack. Minimize pitches against these guys and put them away early. Holiday leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Hit down the line at first. But this will get foul two and one. 
two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Heading out towards shallow right. Judge is under it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. One left for Miami. Score holds. It's 3-1. to one. Striding in once again, Aaron Hicks. He'll stand in to open things up here in the third. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the fresh run and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. First pitch of the at-bat. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Popped him up. Prado shading to his right. He's got it one away. So with one gone in the inning, we'll take a look at where these guys sit in the standings, and I think they can pretty much start to think about next year because they are well back in the division race. Digging in now for the Yankees, Aaron Judge. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And a bit too high with that one. It's 1-0. One and oh. Third inning here. 3-1 to one our score. Downstairs. Two balls and no strikes. The 2-0. Outside, 3-0 now. And that's in there, 3-1. and one. It's up to a 3-2 full count now. Hey, there was great arm action on that 3-1 changeup right here. He's got this guy thinking. That's the beauty right now. We go to a full count. Do you sit changeup or do you stay with the heater? Slap hard the opposite way. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. He'll get it into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. Dan, after that base hit right there, he's got a six-game hit streak going. You know what? And this could be, this could lead him on to something, some bigger and better things right here. He's been swinging the bat pretty well, and he's been rewarded for it, as you talked about. Six-game hitting streak so far. First pitch on its way. Fouled away. Runner at second here with one man out. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Now a fastball runs inside and drills him. Oh, that's got to hurt. Yeah, I'm not sure if that was intentional or not. But I do know when a guy at the plate is a stud like that and first base is open, there's absolutely zero reason to put the ball in the strike zone. I think he was trying to work around him, and it just got away. Giancarlo Stanton now. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Oh, 
one. Here's the pitch. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Two quick strikes, and now the 0 2. And this is chopped foul at the plate, and he stays alive, still 0 and 2. Strike three called, and now he's one out away from getting out of this. It's never a good look to strike out looking, but it's way worse when you do it with a guy in scoring position. Those are the times you really want to see a guy battle and at least put the ball in play. Stepping in now, Gary Sanchez. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike 3 in his first plate appearance. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. Swung on and missed, 1 and 1. You know, I think this is a big situation in this game. They've got to lead by a couple of runs, but they don't want to look back on this inning when this one's over and think that they left some runs out there on the base path. Scoring more here would be huge. The 1-1 home. And this ball is crushed deep down the right field line. And it'll fade just at the end and winds up a long foul ball. The one two hammered the other way to deep right field ranging back is Mabin and this one is gone a home run. So it's a three run shot to straight away right field home run number 42 on the season and it's now a six to one ball game. Boy, when this guy gets in a groove, he can hit him. And when he hits him, he hits him in bunches. Hit a home run in last night's game. And if they continue to pitch him on the outer part of the plate, look out. This guy's going to do some major damage. Brandon Drury will bat next. Brandon Drury. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Hey. Takes a knee high fastball. The 1 1 is taken for ball two. Seems to me like they're pitching him a little bit more cautiously after that double he had his first time up. The 2 1 home. Two balls and two strikes now. So a full count now. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this AB hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Three runs already home here. Hit out towards second. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Another look at the big blow for the Bombers. A three-run home run. We played two and a half. It's now six to one in favor of New York. So striding forward now, Cameron Maven. Second trip to the plate for him. He drew a leadoff walk in the home first. Hey, going back to his first at bat, that was a terrific at bat. Saw a lot of pitches, and one of the things you want to do is try to drive that pitch count up early on the starting pitcher.
behind 0-2 now. Here it comes. Soft liner to the left side. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Hey, sometimes that's how a rally gets started right there. I know it's a soft now liner, but leadoff man on usually Rojas. poses problems. Into the box, Miguel Rojas. As he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. This year against right-handed pitching, Rojas brings a batting average just a little over the 250 mark. Now a throw over, and he'll get back in safely. Maven gets his lead at first, nobody out. And a fastball mm, just misses. It's one and one. Rojas is most often considered a third baseman, but he's actually playing shortstop for his club in this one. Yeah, this issue would usually scare me a little bit. Third base being such a reactionary position and then going over to short and that being more of a rhythm and timing, creating footwork towards first base. Might have a little bit more time, but the way the shifts have been employed in today's game, he occasionally touches shortstop. He occasionally touches second base, so I don't think this is a stretch. And that'll get down for a base hit. And there's one away. Oh, man, I don't know how that happened. Looked to be a base hit to the outfield, but then all of a sudden the throw comes in and they get the force on the plate. To be honest, that just can't happen. Martin Prado now as he'll watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. Runner at first here, one man out. High in the air into shallow left center. After it is Hicks. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. But he's safe at first as he gets back in time. In now, Starlin Castro. He reached on a single in his first try. Here comes the first pitch. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. Aye. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Aye. Two out with the man at first. Line drive, base hit into the left center field gap. Boy, there's another base hit, and this is just kind of like that gift that just keeps on giving, d -Row. Both teams piling up the hits, and we're just in the third inning. Yeah, their ears were open on both sides during the pitchers meeting today. Good plan at the plate, a lot of execution from the offensive side on both sides. And that'll bring in the multi-dimensional Lewis Brinson. No balls in one strike. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Off the plate. One ball, one strike. Now a curveball is in there. One and two now. The one two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Marlins strand a pair. The lead remains five. It's six to one. Striding into the box, Jesus Aguilar. He'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. Under it is Maven now as he pulls it in for the first out. Now batting. Second Good time eight. now to check out the Marlins okay. road to the show report as you see a couple of players in the upper levels of the minors that have been making waves as of late. Now 
now at the plate. Jose Reyes. He hit a two-run jack in his first at-bat. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Heading for second is Reyes. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. But it's backed up well, so luckily there will be no advance. Well, he was definitely struggling coming into this one, but I think we can say that cold streak is officially over. That's his second hit of the game, and it goes for extra bases. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him. In now, number 61. Now a bunt attempt here. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Now a bunt attempt here. Prado right there. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. Well, when you're trying to move a guy up to third with a bunt, that's exactly how you want to do it. Make the third baseman field the ball. That way his only play is to first. That was very well executed. Standing in now, Aaron Hicks. And he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball, 1-0. and oh. That's inside, 2-0. and oh. And this is why he's struggling right here. He's not able to pound the strike zone early in the count. These guys are finding themselves in serious count leverage situations and good hitters aren't going to miss. Here he comes on 2 and 0. Oh. High fly ball out to straightaway center. On the run is Brinson. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. Yanks leave one. They lead it 6 to 1. So striding in, Robert Yokoyama. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on. But you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle. And one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Heading out towards shallow right. Judges under it. Oh, and he whiffs on it. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Yeah, it looked like an easy play from where I'm sitting, but I think he took it for granted and basically whips on the darn thing, allowing the runner to move to second on a two-base error. Into the box now, Richie Pollock. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this is a foul ball. Oh, and two. Here it is. Hit in the air to center field. Hicks is under it. And that's the first out of the inning. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. Standing in, Brian Holiday. He drew a walk his first time. First delivery to him on the way. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Hey, I don't care what league you're in. American, national, if you're playing on Mars. If you get a heater down the middle of the plate as an eight-hole hitter, you better be swinging the bat. Takes a good curveball at the knees. Yokoyama leads off second with one gun in the inning. Popped him up. Aguilar moving to his left. Two gone. Oh, 
Next to hit will be the pitcher, Wayne Chen. He flew out in his last at bat. First offering on its way. High in the air out to center field. Hicks is under it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Marlins leave one. They trail six to one. Digging in once again, Aaron Judge. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Up around the face. Boy, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, you have to make sure it's up above the zone like that. He can't do a whole lot with that, but if it were a little lower, he can and will make you pay big time. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He's around first, heading for two. And the Yankees are in business here. It's a leadoff double. Wow, not sure what the pitcher was thinking. Serving up a fastball right over the heart of the plate. His eyes got as big as saucers as he blasts this thing, putting himself in the scoring position to start off the inning. Now the Marlins skipper is up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight. So he'll depart after working just four plus innings as this will not go down as a quality start. That's for sure. Severino Gonzalez a six foot two inch right hander jogs in to take over on the mound. Severino Gonzalez. Here's Didi Gregorius as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. On its way the 0 1 pitch a swing and a miss at a ball down. Hey that was a nasty pitch right there. It's the depth of a sinker. Sometimes it's a matter of whether or not it's moving east west, but that one right there had such good downward action. Great pitch. And the sinking fastball called strike three, and that's out number one. Well, I'm glad we get another look at that beauty of a pitch right there. You can't spot a sinker in a better location because even if you do get the bat on the ball, there's not a whole lot you can do with that. Textbook sinker. Giancarlo Stanton now. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. Now the 1 0. Hit hard on the ground to second. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. And that's going to plate the runner from second, and it's now a 7-1 to one game. Pitcher went to the well one too many times. Back-to-back -back fastballs. Hitter was able to keep his hands through, deliver a nice line drive. Into the box, Gary Sanchez. And this one's in the dirt. The tag, and he is safe on a very close play at the bag. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. one gets away throw goes over to third and he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch that can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third 
you have to be sure you can make it. He was there, and now he's only 90 feet away. Softly hit here to the left side. And plenty of time over there at third to get a glove up, and there are two down. And he's safe. Now batter. Third baseman. Brandon. Ready once again. Brandon Drury. Here's the first pitch to him. Popped him up. Pollock will put this one away, and the side is retired. A run on two hits, and they leave one. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Yankees are out in front, 7-1. to one. Here's Cameron Maben now. He'll look to light a spark under this lineup that Leading hasn't found the, the scoreboard since back right, in the first there. inning. Yeah, and for me, the story has been the starting pitching they face. It's been very difficult to rebound and, quite frankly, dominate after getting roughed up a bit in the first inning of a start. So I'll give him a lot of credit for what he's been able to do. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Owen won the count. Maven sometimes goes by the nickname Slim. He was selected in the first round back in 2005. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Maybe lucky to make contact there as this curveball's hit fouled off to the left hand side. And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. I think that's one of the toughest calls for an umpire to make. The check swing appeal, hitters rarely feel like they went, and I don't think he likes getting rung up there by the first base umpire. But looking at it, it's hard to say for sure that he didn't go around. In now, Miguel Rojas. He'll swing and lift a ball fouled off to the left and out of play. One for two in the ball game thus far. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Hit on the ground to third. Rury loves it. And there are two away now. Third baseman number 14. Martin Prado. Now batting, Martin Prado. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Takes a knee high fastball. Hey, that's another nice two seamer right there. He's been able to manipulate that pitch all game, keeping it at the hollow of the knee, getting a lot of ground balls and a lot of swing and miss. Line to the right side. But a good play by the first baseman to spear this one, and that'll retire the side. Miami down in order. They're down 7-1. to one. Digging in, Jesus Aguilar. He's set to start it out for the Yanks here in the sixth. Now the pitch. No contact on the sinker there, and he's behind 0-1. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. As a pitcher, you got to feel good that you had him out front, even though he didn't pot commit on that one. It opens up a lot of weapons for you to go high fastball or throw even a better off-speed pitch. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two.
The one two. Misses for the second ball. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. There's Jose Reyes. He waits on deck. Three two pitch. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Standing in now, Jose Reyes. Lifted down the line and left. Yokoyama is after it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now batting. Striding in, number, number 61. 61. Getting the hit for himself here, largely due to the big cushion he's got to work with. First delivery to him on the way. Towards second. And this will be put away easily for the out. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They're on top, seven to one. Here's Starlin Castro. He's batting cleanup in this one, but will get us started here in the inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just a single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. Here comes the first pitch. Strike one to start the at bat. Hey. Right over the middle, knee high. Chopped weakly to the left. Gregorius takes it in. And a close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. Lewis Ready for another chance. Lewis Brinson. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. First pitch coming. Here it is. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Rock solid performance up to this part of the ball game right now. One of the keys 90% of his first pitches have been for strikes. And when you do that you really make the hitter swing at the pitch you want them to swing at. Good breaking ball that time in for a strike. One run, four hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Stepping in now, Robert Yokoyama, as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. No hits to this point. Hit back up the middle. And Reyes can't flag it down. It's in the center of base hit. So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two out base hit. Hey, there's another base knock right there. A hitting streak now up to eight games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Well, eight games. Now, nah, man, we're starting to think about it a little bit. You know, you get past that week, you just know you're locked in. They start talking eight games. Now you're like, all right, I got a nice little hitting streak going. First pitch of the at bat. Takes a good curveball at the knees. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. There seem to be different philosophies on it. So, Dan, what was your approach in 0-2 counts? My philosophy is this. I, I think the last thing you want to do is throw non-competitive pitches, Matt. Throw something down in the zone or just out of the zone. But something way out of the zone doesn't serve any purpose. Soft liner to the right side. And that's in there. Base hit. 
And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, after back-to-back -back two out hits right now, this pitcher thought he was going to cruise through this inning, and now he's got traffic, and he's in jeopardy with a ball in the gap or a ball missed over the heart of the plate, a crooked number going on there. Into the box, Brian Holiday. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today, and it's really working. On its way is pitch number 75. In there, one and two now. a little chopper up the middle and the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over Marlin strand a pair they're down seven to one welcome back to South Florida Yankees leading this one as we get ready to start the seventh but before we do here's a look at our game summary to this point so back to the top of the Yankee order digging in Aaron Hicks he's hitless in three at bats to this point ready to deliver here's the first pitch and a sinker dips too low there into the dirt in fact Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right hander is up and throwing the 1 0 is in there for strike one 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 home is a ball below the zone. Lifted into the air to shallow center. Brinson has it in his sights. One out. The right fielder number 99. Aaron Scott. Here's big Aaron Judge. He's roped a couple of doubles in three trips to this point. First offering on its way. Popped him up. Holiday is under it. Two gone. Now batting. Gregorius. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Didi Gregorius. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. First delivery to him on the way. That's Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. Two out, nobody on. Sharp ground ball toward the hole. Pollock ranges to his right and he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. So the Yanks go one, two, three. They're on top seven to one. Braxton Lee is up off the bench as he'll be asked to get something started in the home half of the seventh. And he'll step off and try again. Ken Rowell is into the game as a defensive replacement now as he takes over in right. Ken Rowell.
swing and a soft liner. And that's going to be a base hit. So a great job off the bench as he's aboard to kick off their half of the inning. Man, he's seeing it like a beach ball right now. Even his soft contact is finding holes there. He's making it nearly impossible for a pitcher right now. Up, down, in and out, hard, soft. Anything you throw forward to home plate, this guy seems to somehow be able to find a hole. Here's Cameron Mabin now. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. Rowell is over near the stands as he makes the catch for the first down. Standing in, Miguel Rojas. He got on top of one and was a ground down victim last time. He's set. Here it comes. And he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0-1. Lee, base runner at first with one out. Oh. Might have thought about it here, but he lays off the breaking ball inside. It's even at one. One ball and two strikes to count. The one two. Softly hit down to third, likely no shot at two. Reyes return throw is in time how about that they do turn to and it gets him out of the inning around the horn they go five to four to three to end the threat the three of us return with more Wednesday night baseball You're after this play. Nick Whitgren now comes on to pitch now line. hoping for better Number results 64. than the other arms that they've run out there in this one Giancarlo Stanton now. Hitting off of the game. Left fielder, Giancarlo Stanton. First offering on its way. Zero. And the curveball induces a big swing and a miss. Missed with a breaking ball. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. After two breaking pitches, there's a pretty good chance right now you're probably going to get something right in the middle of the strike zone to swing it. So if you're looking for it, go ahead and turn that baby loose. Fastball just a bit high. Gary Sanchez is on deck. The 3 1. A swing and a miss, and that'll fill the count at 3 and 2. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on 3 and 1, so, so now we've got a battle on our hands. And this is swung on and missed, and the American League's leading hitter is gone on strikes, one away. Now batting, Gary. Coming to the plate now, Gary Sanchez. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. First pitch coming, here it is. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. You know, guys, sometimes guys don't like pulling the trigger. Oh, oh. They want to see something go by, calibrate the speed, calibrate the break, and then make their adjustments off that. Maybe that's the case right here. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two.
the one two misses low good take on the curveball there hey I don't mind those pitches down below the zone trying to go for the strikeout right there but you find yourself in a two two count right here interested to see what he goes to a swing by Sanchez and this one soaring out into left field and it's gone as they add still another. It's a solo shot here for Gary Sanchez. His second home run of the game as this is now a seven run ball game. Yeah, this guy continues to impress with his bat. He's playing the most demanding position in the game, the position that takes the most out of you mentally and physically, and he's putting up these kind of offensive numbers. Catchers like that are like unicorns. Super rare. Up next for the Yankees. Brandon Drury will bat next. As he'll get out ahead of a changeup and swing through it for strike one. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Here's the one-and-one one delivery. And the changeup is way low that time. Behind a changeup, if you can imagine, for a strike. Two two pitch just missed. Eight runs, eight hits, and one error on the Yankee line score so far. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. In now, Jesus Aguilar. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. One oh home finds the zone strike one bases are empty here with two men out takes a look down at the knees for a strike a little bouncer. Throw to first in plenty of time, and his side is retired. Yanks able to add on one more via the solo home run. Bottom of the eighth coming up. It's the Yankees' eighth, and the Marlins' one. Martin Prado now. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how this starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. Jorge Polanco is into the ball game as a defensive replacement. He'll be the new shortstop here. Number 11, Jorge Polanco. Ivan Jimenez is also into the ball game as he'll assume duties in left field. First offering on its way. 
to the left side, but it's well foul. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Hit on the ground out to short. Played on the backhand. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. The batter, number 13, second baseman. Starlin. Up next Castro. from Miami, Starlin Castro. He was a ground out victim last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. No Good change up that time, but he wouldn't bite on it. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound, but the deeper you get into the game, the more the hitters have seen you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. Bases are empty, one man out. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Hicks is under it. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. Center fielder number nine, Lewis Brinson. And that will bring in the multi-dimensional Lewis Brinson. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Hey. Curveball that catches the inside corner. Well, he's done a real nice job with that breaking ball in this start. That's not the first time he's locked a guy up with it. High in the air out to center field. Hicks is under it. And that retires the side. One, two, three go the Marlins. It's still an eight to one ball game. Always a party in Miami Beach, not too far from us here at Marlins Park, set to begin the ninth player. inning in this one. Now Adam Conley enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit Adam right where it is. Conley. Jose Reyes will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the plate here. Here's the first pitch to him. No balls in one strike. Rip toward the gap in right. Heading for second is Reyes. Reyes at full speed. Look at him fly. He's headed for third. And he's going to make it safely. And a great start to the ninth as it's a leadoff triple. Man, he's Number wishing 51. right now this game could go on forever or at least until he can get up again because otherwise that is probably his last at bat of the game, leaving him one leg shy of hitting for the cycle. Regardless, he's had an incredible game. Miguel Andujar will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 41. And the curveball bounces here, but a good job behind the plate to keep it at arm's length. The 1-0. A swing and a miss, strike one. So far this year against Southpaws, Andujar hits a little over the 270 mark. The 1-1 is a fastball down below the knees. Andujar can be considered a bit of a one-dimensional hitter, I guess, in terms of making contact. He tends to see the ball out of right-handed pitchers' hands well, but doesn't seem to pick up the left-handers at the same level. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Now here's a check swing, and they appeal down to first. No swing, so that's ball four. The batter, center fielder, 
Aaron. He almost got him to commit there as we take another look at it in slow motion. He comes awfully close to breaking that plane, but he was able to hold back. Strong wrist, and he gets a trip to first because of it. Into the box now, Aaron Hicks. No balls and a strike to count. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Oh one, here's the pitch. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Good waste pitch, one and two. Ready with the one and two. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. Runners are at first and third with none out. Ground ball to second. This could be two. There's one. But they will not get them both as he beats out the back end and drives home the run from third. The right fielder, number 13, Ken Rowell. Ready now, Ken Rowell. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Strike one to start the at bat. Oh, and one. Here it comes. And it's fouled away. Hicks leads off first with one away. Ball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Anytime you get rookies just breaking into the big leagues, you have to expect a certain amount of this. There aren't any easy at bats at this level and you really have to learn how to slow the game down in your head because everything feels like it's so much faster up here. Stepping in now, Jorge Polanco line towards center field. Brinson will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. Sixth, seventh, and eighth place hitters scheduled to start the bottom of inning number nine. The Yankees lead it nine to one. Benito Velez takes the now mound Benito as he's Benito. been called upon to pitch. Number 14, Benito Velez. Ready for another shot now. Robert Yokoyama starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count. At least for their own stats, you can't mill in your chances as a professional. Here's the first pitch to him. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Objective number one right here is finding a way to get on base. So I'm not surprised to see him taking on the first pitch there. Ani yeah. takes something off there and had him way out in front for strike two. Got him to chase after the curveball below the zone there. That was a really nice pitch, and it can be a really tough one to lay off of as a hitter. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Count remains at 0-2. He was able to foul that one off, but you could tell he was definitely late. That breaking ball, the pitch before that heater right there, definitely threw his timing off. Another 0-2 home. 
high in the air into shallow left center. Calling for it, Jimenez looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Final line there for the Yankees starting pitcher, and he was really in command on the mound throughout the evening. Digging in now, Richie Pollock. He singled his last time up. First delivery to him on the way. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And that is swung on and missed, and things are starting to look bleak here for the home nine. There are two away now. That's a pretty sad attempt at hitting a baseball right there. No doubt he was completely fooled because that was a curveball, and it looked like he was late on a curveball. That tells me he gave up on it right till the very end, and obviously there was nothing he could do at that point. Standing in now, Brian Holiday. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Now here's the pitch. Nope. Off the plate. One ball, one strike. Two out, nobody on. Ground ball sent back up the middle. On the first, and that is going to conclude the festivities here tonight. Four wins in a row for these guys, and I'm sure they're feeling pretty good about themselves. We'll see how long they can keep this up. Nine to one is the way this one ends. New York took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Number 61 earns his sixth winning decision in this one as he turns in eight strong innings of work. Wei-Yin Chen was hit hard to the tune of seven earned as he takes the loss. So that'll just about do it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Yankees. Nine runs on nine hits. One error. They left three men on base. For the Marlins, one run, seven hits. No errors. They left eight men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 17 minutes. A reminder that Marlins shuttle buses are available outside Marlins Park with service to the Culver Metro Rail Station.